I am excited to show you another, another pen from a very young pen company that I'm, I'm pretty excited about. And that would be the Novo Baroque from the Kilk Pen Company located in Istanbul, Turkey, and it is handmade. I already have showed you two of the Kilk pens in the past two with their two limited editions. So this one is part of their regular lineup. And I'm gonna go ahead and let's start unboxing. I'm gonna slip off this outer cover. And what we have here is a matte black box with the Kilk logo on it. And inside, it's got a magnetic closure. Open this up. And inside we have some paperwork to look at. Let's see, so we have the Novo Baroque fountain pen warranty. And what does it say here? It has premium resin body, a Kilk version two. Still nib, I guess they had a previous version of this. And it has plated jeweler's bronze accents. Hmm. Cool. We have a little brochure for use and care. And it pretty much says, wipe it down with a damp, soft cloth. Do not use any solvent or alcohol and well basically you know just don't throw your pen around and don't just don't mess it up crying out loud also comes with a nice soft polishing cloth to wipe your pen down when it gets dusty and then finally inside nestled in this soft foamy stuff is the pen and it has a plastic sleeve over it and let's see here Let's take it out. Oh, it's nice. It's really nice, guys. Well, I've had my eye on this pen for a little while. I, I really am highly interested in a lot of the Kilk pens because they're, they're different. They're very different from what other pens are making right now. And here we go. This is the Novo Baroque. It's nice, right? I, I just love the detailed ring around the clip. I like the roll stop. That's pretty cool. So this is a clipless pen and it has two different colored resins being used here. We've got a tortoise shell like resin right here and then a cream colored ivory resin and it's a classic cigar shape. That's a really good looking pen. Now from what I read that this Baroque Okay, so that's what you don't do with the pen. That needs to be included. Don't drop it. The Baroque style that you're seeing here on these metal parts is inspired by, and please forgive me if I mispronounce this, the Domo Bashi Palace. I'm gonna have to look that up. I've never heard of that palace, but I'm, I'm very interested to know more about it. I know you guys are going to be writing in and correcting me on that one. So, you know what I'm really a fan of and what I was a fan of with uh, the other pen that I had, uh, the Celestial pen that I reviewed is these two different colored resins being used in the same pen. I just, I think that's really cool. I like that a lot. So let's go ahead and look at that nib. Ooh, a section. I like that. I like that it matches the cap. That is very cool. Wow. Yes. Yes. Look at that. Ah, that just made my day. That just made my day. We've got a large Bach nib on this pen. It has a plastic feed. And yeah, so the, supposedly this is the version two nib of being used with this pen. It does come with a converter. So it's an international standard converter. So you can use any ink you want. Let's see, there's a pen post. Yes, and it does. It's a friction post and yes, that could work, but it really elongates the pen quite a bit. So I will probably write with this pen unposted. Actually, I will be writing with this pen unposted just simply because I'm not, I'm not really one to post my pen, post my caps on my pens. It's just it's not my thing. But yeah, it's very comfortable. Very nice, light, 
pen. I like that. I'm really looking forward to, to trying out this nib. The last two nibs I've had with my Kilt pens have been really good. So yeah, this is, this is really nice. Just a, wow, what a great looking pen. Well, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to ink this pen up. Let's see how she writes. really good it's nice and smooth just like the other kilk nibs that I've used nice smooth stainless steel nibs write really well that makes me happy and I just I really just love the way this pen looks I really do it's really classy this would be like a nice gift to somebody who really likes pens or if you really like pens you should get yourself this pen <laughs> But I love the shape. I just, everything about it is great. It's a great pen. Kilk really has, there's, I mean, this is a promising young company and I'm really excited to see what direction they go in with these pens. And they're just, they're making it into the United States. More people are starting to carry them. In fact, Pen Chalet sent this over to me for review. They just started carrying this brand and I'm so glad they did. I'm, I'm really happy to see Kilk make it into more and more Retailers, the MSRP on this pen is $210. I don't think that's horrible. I think that it even better is if you can put a coupon code to that and get it under the $200 mark, it'd be even better. So if this is a pen you are interested in, you need to go check it out. Kilk, very cool. Also, I'm, I'm looking at the tortoiseshell resin it's kind of transparent that's nice I like that you can see that kind of see the nib through it anyway well, that's really all I have to say about this pen and I'm just really uh thankful for the opportunity to review it and if you are interested in this pen go check them out Kilk over at Pen Chalet and that's it thanks for joining me and that's how the ink flows